Oh, what's good with y'all niggas? What's good with y'all niggas? I know it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot little minute since I dropped a new video. Oh, all right, let me stop. But it's been a hot little minute. It's been a hot little minute. Now, if you're wondering where I've been at, my bad. That was my phone. Uh, if you're wondering where I've been at, I have just been, you know what I'm saying, trying to master the ways of editing, bro. And this, this stuff hard as hell. But, you know what I'm saying, while I was on my little journey, you know what I'm saying, I managed to grab a little story. Now, this story is a little bit recent. This is how I basically was about to get fired or something like that. Like, I was almost fired at my job. Like, that, that's probably what's going to be the title. But before I get into this video, if you can do me a favor, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. You know, do all that for me. That would be great, bruh, because... Damn, me not uploading a while. I kind of lost the summer too. And I'm like, God damn, boy, my bad, my bad, bro, my bad. But but you know, it's all good, bro. It's all good. It's all love. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens. All right, so bad. <clears throat> so how I almost got fired from work is a very 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 simple story. All right, so uh, I was going into work. I think this was on Wednesday. This was the Wednesday. Yeah, I was going into work Wednesday, and I wasn't feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I took the next day off, but on Wednesday they was doing overtime. So you know what I'm saying? You could stay at work. You know what I'm saying? Work a little bit there to get that little extra money. And it was like two hours extra. So I was like, all right, but I'm not finna do that because it was optional. You know what I'm saying? You could dip if you want to, and I get the overtime pay. You know what I'm saying? That's a downside. That's all cool, fine, and dandy. But you know, see what happened was right. I work with my dad, so you know me and him. You know, we just be I ah, always be chilling, you know what I'm saying? He helped me out, I helped him out pretty much pretty simple. So I'm like, you know, dad, I'm gonna just go ahead and head home, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really feeling that well today. So you know what I'm saying? So he's like, alright, babe, you can dip out of there. But you know what I'm saying? But I ain't but when you leave in this specific job site, you're supposed to write your name down in the time you left. Now what he told me to do is alright, don't do that, cause you know what I'm saying? So cause you cause he was trying to get my overtime pay up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm leaving early. Well not really early, but on time. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get my little overtime monies up. And I'm like, you know, all right, that's what's up. Good, good looking out, Pops. You know what I'm saying? You got to really mess with your Pops, bro. They be saving lives out here. All right, so moving forward. So I'm going to get ready to dip. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving stealthily. But then this one nigga see, this one nigga see me from my job site. And we all know that this man out here be just, just, just I can't I can't think of a word, bruh. Lick, I'm gonna go lick, lick the the owner. I'm gonna go lick the owner. Yeah, lick, he be licking the owner off. And since he be doing that, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to get to a higher position by doing that. And I'm like, what sense does that make? You out here doing that to the owner to gain a higher position, which is not gonna work because you're gonna do all that work just to get nowhere, bruh. So I'm leaving and I, I see this man. And I'm like, I'm hoping he ain't see me, but lo and behold, his little ass that be Takashi 69 and motherfuckers saw me. So you know what I'm saying? So I left. And um I left out of work, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way home, I'm chilling because I'm about to get a little OT pay. And I take the next day off, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling sick since I left work, so I was like, and I felt sick the next day, so I just like, you know what? I'm gonna just stay home. And apparently what happened was that snitch boy over here was like talking about, oh, I saw him leaving early. I saw him leaving early. I ain't seen him sign a book. Yeah, like, like, bro, you really can't mind your business, bro. Why are you in my business, bro? Like, you got your job. I got my job, bro. You're not going to get no higher than me, bro. You mad? You making less money than me. You're goddamn 95. You're short. Like, bro, we supposed to be helping each other out. We both black. You tell him you can't just hold it down, bro. You got to go out here and start snitching. And bro, I guarantee you that snitching got him nowhere. Like man's heard him and was like, all right, all right, because he's not one of the core guys. This motherfucker is new. So I'm like, so you really gonna be sitting out here sucking people of for a position that you're not gonna get, by the way, the money that you're not gonna get, by the way. This man's fighting for a spot to earn less money. What sense does that make? You fighting for a position to get less? What? <laughs> like bro, you gotta think about that real quick. This man at the job told Obi, and they get nowhere. Like, did he make 50 cents more? If so, congratulations, I guess. You, you, you snitched on somebody for 50 cents. 
You know what I'm saying? He tried to knock out competition when, like, it didn't even work. I'm still there. <laughs> and he's probably making the same buddy. So now, so now the bosses know, you know what I'm saying? They got an inside man. So they probably going to use and abuse him to catch everybody doing everything. Because this man, when I tell you he talk, this man talks, bro. I remember uh, someone told me from the job, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was chilling with him. You know what I'm saying? They was both chilling in the room because there's not much to really do. And this motherfucker gonna tell the boss, oh, he wasn't doing nothing. I was doing all the work. I'm like, yo, whose man's is this? Man's out here tattletailing on everybody, bro. Like, you tell it all niggas to gate a spot over niggas to just be in the same position. So you just went from point A to point A again. You ain't even go nowhere, bro. You walk into a wall, bro. What, like, what, what, what are we doing, bro? You out here mining other man business for a whole new spot. Like, come on, bro. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you told that, and I, and I basically, you know what I'm saying. They told me, oh, if you keep doing this, he's gonna get fired or he's gonna get let go. I was like, alright, 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 cool, 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 whatever, whatever. I'm gonna pull up. So now. I'm gonna just start going to work every single day. I'm not about to miss no more days because we got this motherfucker here until we switch job sites at least. When we switch job sites, you know what I'm saying? We, we back on that lazy construction time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm walking in through the door at 7.30 when I was supposed to be there at 7. I'm leaving there at 2 when it's really supposed to be leaving at 3, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Big construction of my teeth. <laughs> Why this building ain't built? Because the motherfuckers is leaving. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? After that the next day, the boss pulled up to work. You know what I'm saying? And he was checking on to see if I was okay and everything. Cause he was like, Oh, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, why weren't you here? You know, he got the message saying I wasn't here. He, he knew I wasn't here. I don't know why he be doing that. Like, I'm not sure if he's trying to look hard in front of everybody when there's nobody there, but like you're not doing much, bro. And I'm telling you, this boss, I'm gonna watch his business burn one day. When I get big on YouTube, I'm gonna watch his business burn, bro, and I'm gonna laugh in his face. Cause the way how you treat motherfuckers, just watch, boy. That shit gonna come back to bite you. Cause like I said, if you heard, I'm pretty sure I already said this, but this man inherited the company from his pops, so he ain't built nothing from the ground up, so he don't understand nothing. He don't. I'm pretty sure he does not know how to run a business. He's been just yelling at people, thinking that shit worked. When his pops and my dad, you know what I'm saying, they was cool. You know what I'm saying, and he treated people with respect. And this one, it's like he don't care. And I'm like, all right, bet. If you keep doing that, when the workers with sense dip, and all you guys, you little dummies, now what? All you're gonna do is, all you're gonna get his dumb, dumb guy jobs. Now all you're gonna get his little simple jobs, not gonna make as much. Because you're gonna keep playing with motherfuckers. And all of a sudden, you're just gonna see people just start dropping like flies, bro. I'm telling you. This man gotta stop with all that, bro. Or else he really gonna start losing all his workers and all that money. All that nice little big pickup truck you got. Yeah, that shit finna get so bad to the shop, my G. All that that nice little chain you got on. Not even chain. He don't wear chains. He's white. <laughs> you wear watches. That nice little gold watch you got. You about to have to pawn that bitch right back on. <laughs> all of a sudden, the spot you put yourself in, that shit about to be gone. You might be thinking there's desperate guys out there every day. Yeah, yeah, you right. But guess what though, the dummies with with no sense, you know what I'm saying, that be going there just to go work, when they trust me, they gonna probably get injured, and I God forbid I hope they don't get injured, I don't, play, I don't pray on nobody down for, I'm just saying, they might get injured, now you have nobody working for you, you gonna have to get your ass up from out of that seat and go work, but you know, you don't wanna do it, you wanna hire people to do it, cause you a little CEO, and then, you know what I'm saying, when the business start going under, and all of a sudden, all your investments start dropping, you know what I'm saying? But he owned a couple more businesses, so he gonna be valid. But I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure this is the, his biggest earning business. Because, you know, in the construction field, you know what I'm saying? If you own a little company, you know, that money be hitting, bro. Especially if they valid, too. Ooh, the motherfucker be slapping, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? After he pulled up to work, you know, he was like, just, this, you know what I'm saying? He was just talking to my dad, you know, they was arguing a little bit about how he couldn't get his toolbox because the boss, he be sending motherfuckers on job sites and we don't even know what the hell we got to do, bro. He just be sending us here and be like, all right, what we got to do? I don't know, fam, figure it out. And it's like, okay, well, I don't got the right tools for this, but what, whatever, I guess. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
that's pretty much the end of the video you know what i'm saying i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one grip bow come on now fuck you me big 200 coming up g